again there, friends and fans. Raptor here, and welcome back to Men of War Assault Squad to our first look now at the Soviet faction. We played previously as the United States, and I have yet still to show you the dynamic campaign system. We'll get to that in another episode, but let's do another wonderful skirmish as the Soviets. Thanks, everybody, for all the comments, support, and love on the previous video, and thanks to everybody dropping by today and uh, leaving a like and stuff, too. Is remember, this content is suppressed. It has these big old long things that uh, put shooty bits out of them, and that makes YouTube cry and suppress the content because God forbid this makes through goddamn America. So I'll see you all on the battlefield. Let's get going. Let's go to battle skirmish. I'm the only one playing, by the way. Nobody else is online. Like, this is an early uh, look at the game, so we'll be playing against the AI. We're going to do combined arms again in the map called Scorched Earth. So let's do it. Let's create the map here. And then uh, also I'm playing, oh, apparently VAC is enabled. All right, well, I'm not going to be cheating against literally myself. That's uh, weird. Uh, creating server instance. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, more stability in this too, by the way. I guess we'll allow, uh, okay. We'll allow for Metal War Assault Squad to make a game. Okay, cool. Um, so yeah, there's a lot more stability in this uh, Call to Arms version of Meta War than previously. So the game is called Meta War Assault Squad 2 Cold War, but it uses elements from a game called Call to Arms and also Meta War Assault Squad 2, both from the same developer, combining maybe it's peanut butter and, uh, and chocolate put together, perhaps? I I'm not sure yet, but I am liking what I'm seeing so far in the game. So let's try to be... Uh, we're going to be Warsaw Pact now, and we're going to be versus NATO. And uh, last time I took on 4AI and did pretty well, so I think we'll do the same again. We'll play in hardcore mode, which makes uh, units easier to uh, destroy and people to kill. And let's go right into this one uh, with our combined arms 4x4, fight with vehicles, etc., etc. Cool. Good times. All right, here we go. So we're Warsaw Pact versus NATO. Yes, indeed. This is promising because right now the game is going to only offer the Soviet Union... Uh, slash, you know, Russia versus the United States. But, of course, Warsaw Pact and NATO involved more than just those countries. So hopefully in time the developer adds more and more nations, too. It would be cool to see West Germany, East Germany, uh, the United Kingdom, France, and also, like, Poland and Yugoslavia, and then maybe throwing in some crazy nations, like what about Sweden and Finland and, you know, mixing up the story and stuff like they did in uh, War Game Red Dragon, where they kind of made them sit with other factions. So... Anyway, the game so far, my opinion, uh, is pretty good of the game. I, I like the uh, the fact that Call to Arms has been reused in a Cold War setting. That's more appealing to me. And I hope what they do is they take all the stuff from uh, Call to Arms and put it into a World War II game. I hope this makes them back down to something uh, like Men of War Assault Squad 3. What Men of War Assault Squad really needs is A, more reliable multiplayer, and th in no particular order or, uh, you know, I I of importance or anything like that. More reliable multiplayer, more reliable engine, and more things uh, to use, more assets, more large buildings like you see in the distance here. Imagine this being Stalingrad in 42-43 rather than just, you know, uh, some modern city. So it could make for a big, massive scale game. And I really want to see Digital Mindsoft succeed more and to make more large-scale World War II games because we really don't have much in terms of World War II at the moment. We've got, you know, basically we've got Men of War Assault Squad and we've got, you know, like Commandos being remade and of course we've got Call, uh, Company of Heroes uh, and Call of Duty, you know, for the like old FPSs and stuff. But for a World War II RTS game, there's not anything quite like Men of War Assault Squad, really. And, um, you know, there, there's the larger scale games and turn-based games and even card games about World War II. But we need more World War II strategy games. And they need all the support they can get. And this one's got the most ever. Metal War Assault Squad has an incredible amount of support from their community. Tons of mods made it. And I can't wait to see <laughs> what people do with them when they get their hands on this game. I want to see a whole Cold War campaign made by the community. All right, we've got VDV and Soviet Guards. We even have uh, units that can be transported via helicopter. Let's roll up with a, uh, let's see, let's get some Soviet guards motorized up here. And uh, let's start capturing some positions. Is this a, uh, is this the position to capture? Oh, it's here. Okay, I was going to say, that's a very strange position, that roundabout like that. All right, essentially this feels like Afghanistan or something like that. Let's get a BMP up here too, and another uh, group of motorized guards. So, I'm against four AI, so I get more points to spend than they do, but you know what I get that uh, is better than anything they've got? Yeah, the BM-21 grad, baby. You're going to be grad to see it, because it's going to be dropping pain and bringing tears, baby. It's going to be awesome. All right, let's try to capture a few positions. Usually uh, the enemy will almost overwhelm us and capture everything, and then, uh, and then we take everything back. All right, looks like the trucks are rolling through. Per yep, that's about the uh, Men of War AI I know. Not nothing changed there. Nothing. Oh, is that a modern ambulance? Uh-oh. 
Uh oh. Some assets and things to be changed, I think, and adjusted to make it believable for the uh, 80s or 60s or 70s or wherever really they're trying to go. I still haven't quite figured it out. Based off the weapon set, it seems like the late 60s, early 70s. We're not seeing Abrams or anything like that or Leopard 2s or here. anything, but. Um, yeah. All right, BMP, let's get that into a good position to guard. Cool to see the giant destroyed apartment building, though. That's really neat. Very cool uh, asset there. Very Soviet like to see. In fact, it is Soviet like. This sure as hell ain't downtown Miami. Or is it? Yeah, never mind. This, yeah, this is basically Miami before any sort of warfare. Just kidding. All right, let's go down to, uh, let's see, soccer field over here, football field. We'll try to cap that position. Aircraft passing overhead. Oh, <clears throat> cool thing is, too, is that these transporters carry ammunition as well. So if we put our troops into an assault and, uh, you know, they happen to destroy a lot of uh, enemy equipment and, uh, and, and troops, uh, we can actually uh, have these troops come back to rearm either at these FOBs, these FOBs, little kind of covered bunker areas, or we can have them rearm at the vehicles and uh, really take charge. I'm going to try to spread these guys around as much as possible, but it seems like line of sight is most important in this game. Being able to see the enemy before you shoot at the enemy is very important. And so that way they don't sneak up on you. Let's try a motorized, uh, this actually is a BTR-60. Yeah, it is a BTR-60P moving up now to this uh, parking lot. We'll uh, flank around the other side of the building here. We'll pull up on this side. Oh, wow, it's actually the open top. Didn't look like it when you actually buy the vehicle. Well, let me see. Oh, it is, okay. Yeah, so it's early 60s before they started covering these and putting in the uh, the turrets and such. Enemy holds uh, three flags. We're trying to capture three now. We're fighting them off a little bit. So we're against the United States now. Yes! And uh, American troops then will be coming at us from all directions. We need to make sure we occupy these uh, FOBs a little bit more. It's really important to do that. There we go. And we even have access to helicopters. So we'll be able to see a MI-8T, MI-4AV, and a Heavy. As well as the SU-7BM, uh, 7 is it BM? Or 8M? Uh, BM, yes. Yeah, so we'll be able to drop some bombs on them. Very nice. All right, here comes the American troops now. Squad leader here doing the gangster lean. Nice. And we can even take control of these troops, too. With the HMGs and LMGs. Well, I don't want to move the whole squad. I stay there. I was trying to take one guy. Just this one guy. There we go. And, of course, you can even go into, uh, not first-person mode, but uh, you can ki kind of go into first-person a little bit with the... <laughs> Look at his helmet pop off. Boop. Enemy detected. Boop. It's like a Metal Gear Solid guard or something. All right, the Americans are believing that there's half-off televisions inside this Best Buy, so they're rushing at us with uh, no, no restraint, it seems. All right, let's continue to push over this direction. Let's try it. Can we get some airborne troops here? Yeah, let's try the VDB. Hit them in the back. Let's go up to this corner, and then we'll circle around. And this is the MI-8. Oh, no, MI-4 transporting that. Oh, no, it is an MI-8. MI-8T. So there's no weapons on that, unfortunately. But sometimes they can be equipped with weapons. All right, where did our troops go? Oh, looks like they made their way over here to the parking lot. Okay, let's make it all the way to that building there, see if they can break through. Enemy vehicles detected. Looks like they're pushing through with some Walker Bulldogs. We need some support. A little while until we see some Soviet tanks. But we can try to bring over a PT-76, maybe. That should be care, uh, comparable. We'll bring that over. PT-76 is kind of a light, uh, almost like a, it's almost like a BMP. Um, essentially, it's just like a amphibious tank, really. A light amphibious tank. So it's quite powerful early game. And actually late game, too. It's, it can get some speed and really knock out the enemy. Alright, I can hear vehicles moving around back here. We're going to sneak up behind this position, see if we can get some Soviet VDV to drop behind. Right about there. Using choppers in this game is amazing. It really works well. And I like the ability to flank the enemy and stuff that way. Oh, still a typical Metal War thing where the animation has to replay every time a soldier gets out. As if it were like a car door opening every time. It should be open and closed, just like a case on Matlock. Alright, let's go ahead and take this position from them. Unfortunately, I can't see a lot of line of sight. Uh, it must have like, a, I don't know, Fog of War on or something like that. But there's a whole group of American soldiers there, so we need to wipe them out. So if you boys would be so kind. There we go. Perfect. Well, they didn't expect that. That's for sure. 
Get to the positions. Now we have medics with us too, and medics can heal up anybody who's wounded or or whatnot. Oh, is that a flamethrower? There's an American flamethrower running around there. Nice. Let's get a T-34 up now. T-34-85 coming onto the field. Looks like our tank is arriving as well. It's actually a uh, tank on the other side of the truck. Oh, that was a bad shot. Back it up, boys. Come on. The vehicles in Colt Arms, the Colt Arms engine, as I'll call it, uh, really respond a lot more realistically. They feel a lot heavier. They seem to uh, bounce around a little bit more realistically with their suspension based off the uh, material that they're driving against. So if they're crossing a river or if they're driving over concrete or something like that, they just seem to act a lot more realistic. Oh, looks like the Americans are actually able to take this position. Let's get up here with a Soviet, few Soviet assault troopers. See what we can do with that. The main way I play this game is, is different uh, in Men of War versus Call to Arms because when I have a group of soldiers move in towards an enemy position, I hit spacebar to have them lay down or to take cover, and that's kind of been removed from uh, from this game, or at least it must be different. We also have Soviet re regular infantry, but I want to overwhelm them with swarms. Let's get infantry sw swarms up here. So I'm crying at the beauty of communism. So beautiful, guys. All right, let's move in. Very nice. Check it out. You can see the uh, DT guns here that are mounted inside the vehicle. And it looks like we have, actually have a small truck. Oh, we got a truck off. Oh, well, let's take this guy down. Let's see if we can run this truck over with our truck. Oh, that American truck is way bigger. Look at how big that is compared to our truck. But we won. <laughs> Delayed explosion, I guess. No, he was being shot at by friendly troops. Okay, so we got troops coming up to take this position. Flanking seemed to work rather well. The enemy's just, uh, let's see if we can throw a grenade here. Let's see if we can throw a grenade. Can you get that grenade ready, sir? Are you patching yourself up? Somebody, please. All right, there we go. Oh, thank God, it's men of war grenade throwing and not call to arms garbage throw. Oh, hell yeah, those guys bailed out of here. There we go. All right, we'll get uh, get that position again. Our helicopter, by the way, can come back, and we can uh, reload it with troops each time, so we can continue to funnel in reinforcements to the backside. So let's get some regular assault troops ready and meet them over here. Actually, let's have our chopper come over here. There we go. Oh, did it just get shot down? Oh, it did. Oh, it was just shot down moments ago by probably an enemy tank or something. They can uh, point up and aim if it was destroyed that quickly. All right, let's move in with a T-34. So this clearly ain't the 80s. Come on, boys, get to that cover. Oh, I'm, I'm forgetting I'm in hardcore mode, so everything's a little bit more... Uh, that's all right, with the Soviets. Each squad is essentially like an individual man. That's just the way the game is played. Oh, hello. That's a little rude, don't you think, Sherman Tank? There we go. Shermans versus, uh... Well, actually, it's not a Sherman. Oh, it kind of looked like it. Walker Bulldog. Essentially, the Bulldog looks to be a cross between the, uh... It's almost like a Hellcat or a Wolverine meets a Sherman, in a way. I think our tank is toast. Oh, there we go. We're fighting him out. Oh, he was able to destroy our vehicle here. We can actually repair vehicles, so that's fine. Wow, they're getting us good. Let's keep funneling in the reinforcements. All right, where's that chopper? All oh, right, destroyed. I didn't call out another one, though. All right, let's continue to just swarm them with infantry for a while. And eventually they're going to have to counterattack, but we will have more flags than them. We're already up to 15, so that's not too bad. And we're capturing more positions. Ooh, shoot. Man, that's always irritating in Men of War, where enemy soldiers can shoot at ours, but uh, we don't seem to be able to return fire. Some of it has to do with range, but... Ah, look at that. We've got access to a T-62. We've got access to a T-55 and a T-10M. I'm going to get the 55 up here. Block the enemy from bringing in any more reinforcements there. And then I'm going to bring up a T-62 over here. Love that T-62. Very big classic. T-62 is beautiful. T-64 is beautiful. Soviets really know what they're doing with tanks. All right, let's continue to bring up troops. 
I'm just gonna swarm them now. Essentially, I'm just gonna bring them right up on top of enemy Not positions. Seems like the enemy is very good at walking in with one guy, uh, avoiding all the line of sight from our troops, and just shooting everybody. I don't know how they're able to do that. Sometimes that happens, but we will come off with a win. I'm, I have full confidence here, especially with all of our vehicles moving. And there's that sexy T-62. Mm. Now, what about that uh, T-55? There she goes. And, of course, I'm sure she can roll through buildings as well. Let's get this tank here to guard. There we go. Now, in Metal War Assault Squad, it is good to keep soldiers in the back and uh, kind of have them ready for reinforcements. So if the enemy pushes up, you can kind of watch the flanks, but then also be prepared for artillery. Speaking of which, we're about a minute away from the big O Grad to see ya. So let's see what happens uh, when we call that out. All right, there seems to be an opening over here for our troops. And a position here. We can take lots of uh, trenches dug out here, too. Seems very uh, desert-like. This seems to be more of the desert regions of the Soviet Union. Or one of its, uh, I guess, one of its blocks. An enemy helicopter spotted. A Chinook hovering over the building. It'd be kind of cool if they could drop troops into the building, but I don't think they can. We'll just keep the tank there just in case. All right, well, we've got lots of troops locking down these flags. We need some more, though, in order to win. So we do need to go for a victory over here. And it looks like some machine gunners are blocking the way. Let's get uh, BMP ready. Wish we had access to BMP-2s, but we don't, unfortunately. Could load up the BMP, though, with soldiers. Actually, why don't you go ahead and stop here? When you do purchase a BMP, it does come emptied, unless it uh, you might be able to get a mechanized one. Looks like the Soviets have no... Wait, this says mechanized, but that is actually a BTR in the background. Mechanized means that they would be with a BT BMP. Uh, motorized means that they'd be with a BTR. So I don't know what the difference is there. So it looks like the Americans are just kind of sitting around with vehicles, launching attacks at random. Let's go and throw some grenades over the top here. Some grenade throwing going on. Nice. Take that position and mow them down. Shoot at them, boys. Enemy vehicle there. All right, let's keep sending reinforcements in. I'm kind of playing sloppy now just to kind of see the blood and the, you know, I'm not here to win. I'm here mostly to see how everything functions and whatnot. Obviously, running into a, uh, you know, enemy ambush is bad, but it's cool to see on both sides depending on how it goes. All right, looks like the BMP can't be completely filled with our troops, so we'll send in some reinforcements here. Let's just crush them. Let's send in a, a T-55 and another motorized guards, or mechanized guards. Does that bring in BMPs? It brings in BTRs, okay. We got a tank sitting right here. Look at that enemy chipping away at our uh, infantry still. It's annoying, I thought our defense would be better. Well, we do have a tank sitting here, so what are they gonna do? Hello, what did we got here? Finally, an M4 against a T-55. Imagine that. That's lols worthy. Well, three, two, Enemy one, zero, fire! goodbye. Ooh, another one. Well, that should have sliced right through that Sherman. No way. Let's bring another T-62 then. I'm not, I'm not letting them stop me. Wow, T-55 holding nice against enemy hits. Is that a chappy there? Wow, look like it went right through there. M24. All right, well, the Americans want their tank battle over there, then. BMPs on the way, as well as multiple Soviet infantry carriers. All right, let's get our infantry carrier here. And we'll have these two motorized units move around the flank in the uh, southeast section. What the hell? Where'd that missile come from? Enemy helicopter, possibly? All right, let's send some more reinforcements up here. A little different playing with the Soviets than it is with the Americans in the NATO pack. Uh, pact and NATO are, are much different. Those allegiances. One is more about like troop training and longevity. The other one's about uh, wave and effort together. All right, let's get these troops out. We're going to take the right side of the apartment building. And we're going to funnel these reinforcements in. Oh, we also have ourselves an aircraft at our disposal. Perfect timing. Let's try to drop a bomb right here. We have the uh, access to a uh, Sukhoi Su-7BM, 
which will drop a bomb right where I indicated. And that should destroy those tanks. There she went. Don't blink, you'll miss it, boys. Oh, that sucks. That was a waste of money. Four minute cooldown and 1,175. They're gonna have to make that more powerful to destroy vehicles. That sucks. Good for infantry, good for clearing a flag, but uh, not something you want to use unless you're doing just that. Okay, let's move into this position. I'm going to spam some grenades. ATGM going out. Awesome. EMP-1 using uh, ATGM's anti-tank guided missiles to destroy that M113, or at least damage it. So the infantry dropping off some love. There we go. Grenades going off like crazy. And another position taken from the Americans, finally. All right, they were at 52 percent or 52 uh, points out of 100 railroad in the back i think we're just going to defend what we got for a little bit now the americans have probably used most of their points on their initial uh, gains but now we've got it and we've got multi-layered defense good should have that uh, t62 around here still yeah. now this uh, game is really frustrating because in order to tilt the camera up you've got to move, zoom in a little bit so it's annoying to have to be able to see what's up the road by zooming in. It just takes extra time rather than holding the middle mouse button. It kind of locks you in. So if you're, you can kind of see what my limitation is for zooming out. There you go. So it, yeah, it does it when you zoom out. It's kind of weird. All right, American helicopter hanging out. An American tank spotted. Hello, beautiful. It's like the booty of America. Oh wow, that was hauling ass. An M113 destroyed, but uh, looks like a, a Sherman making its way by. We should have AT troopers somewhere. Wow, he just rolled over that soldier and he didn't die. That's weird. My T55 should be spotting him. Let's get some vehicles repaired here. There we go. Looks like we're losing the flag up in the corner. Send some reinforcements over here. Yeah, they love doing that. They love attacking there. I'm going to send up motorized guards. Oh, they've got an M113 again. So against players, this is going to be a very tedious game. I can see there's a lot of ways to clear areas and push in. And a lot of good ways to defend, too. There are Soviet engineers. I think engineers might be armed with anti-tank or anti-personnel mines. So there's uh, quite a few weaponry to use. Wow, look at that. The amount of Soviet soldiers there. And the Americans are capturing. How is that possible? Lob grenades, boys. T-62 there captured, uh, captured a shell on the side. T-55 being slightly damaged, possibly a little scratch to the paint, and so it was self-destroyed. <laughs> Self-destructed to preserve uh, the glory of communism, I guess. All right, uh, let's see. The flags are three to four. America's ahead a little bit. So it's going to come down to this position over here, where apparently they're just trying to funnel in tons of armor. I like to call in an airstrike to deal with that, but it's easier to, like, to not. There's all those enemy troops. How do they even manage to get out on that road like that? M113. There we go. Now if I had my... I want my Men of War commands back so I can hit spacebar to tell our troops to move out and then take cover. Because even if we attack move, our troops are only going to fire when they have contact from the enemy. And sometimes it doesn't matter. Well done, boys. All right, let's bring out the grad. I'm tired of this. Let's do a little cleanup in aisle five. Da, All right, let's get our troops out, ready to deploy. Now, I'm really interesting. I think the uh, dynamic campaign, I'm interested in seeing the uh, how the dynamic campaign is going to play out. I find that to be very interesting. Uh, the American uh, and Soviets can face off in a uh, dynamic campaign that allows them to uh, essentially fight battles like these and it's like, you know, best out of however many wins the campaign. But I don't know exactly what the purpose of a campaign is if you're not picking like a specific theater of war. One minute you could be fighting in the winter, the next could be summer. Let's try some more elite Soviet troops. I guess that's not gonna matter too much. Oh, they're really hitting us hard here. Let's get that grad up. Looks like it's getting into position. 
I'm going to go over here and start hitting the Americans where they keep clumping up. All right, slow that bad boy down. Let's go ahead and uh, fire it here. There it is. Could have damaged that tank. Ooh, the grad is super accurate. Mega at Whoa, whoa, whoa. How are, you, how are you hitting over here? What the hell? I told it to fire here. It is now targeting the uh, M113. Oh, it's got this damn snap mode. It's uh, trying to, it's firing rockets individually rather than like in a salvo mode or a volley mode. So it's just targeting like missile after missile at individual vehicles, that's why. Well, that's dangerous, but it killed our infantry there. Jerks. Actually, what we should do is put this on uh, hold fire mode, there we go. Developers, that should be started on hold fire mode. That's gonna make a huge mess for the players if that thing fires with a soldier running in front of it, it could kill tons of stuff. Usually you keep those in the back, so that's uh, a much better move. Alright, let's call up a T-55. We're going to start funneling some armor onto the field to hold our gains. Looks like the Soviets have a much longer cooldown than the American armor does. Maybe not. Oh, look at all the troops we've got here trying to cover this position. It's not stopping a damn thing. The, uh, BMP-1 here should be able to fire 73mm heat rounds. And HE rounds. It should fire heat. Well, that didn't matter. Nice dis destruction of that. Alright, so we can call out Soviet AT teams too, but we got so many tanks around it doesn't matter. Some of them are just turreted and, and tracked. But they should still be able to fire. Got troops sitting back here waiting. Very tactical, this game. Much more about flanking and doing so quickly. There's going to be a lot of fast-moving games in uh, Men of War Assault Squad 2 Cold War. Because the ability to uh, fly around the enemy or flank the enemy or do, do something to get around their position is, is big. Bigger than before. It looks like the enemy is coming up again to capture our flag. I need another tank up here or something. Gonna funnel things in for our gains. Move up a little bit with this BMP. Well, looks like we're actually dealing with a serious tank now, a Patton. I want to see if we get an di absolute direct hit on this tank, will it destroy it? Usually I've been hitting close by, but let's try with another bombing run. Let's see if the SU, uh, or sorry, the SUBM can make up for its, uh, what the hell is that? Did it just do like a circle? All right, that was a direct hit. I don't, it did not, it did not kill it. But now the crater has made it so the tank can't shoot because it's aiming up. Interesting. Or maybe it can actually aim down again. Nope. So unless that tank moves, so it's not even tracked. Developers, please make that, uh, please make that bomb more powerful, or keep it as powerful as it as it is, but reduce the price a little bit then. Because if it can't kill tanks, what's the point? Especially late game. Wow, a lot of M113s being pesky as hell. Americans are rolling around with armor like it's going out of style. All right, time for the big daddy T10 coming on the field then. Soviet heavy tank rolling up here. Let them come on up. Big boy's coming. That is a big boy. That's going to hopefully uh, get rid of all those tanks that are around there. I need to continue to just funnel in reinforcements. The Americans are like ants or like water. They're able to just kind of find their way through every crack in the defense. I'm ready for more. Okay, let's throw grenades here. Try to keep this position under wraps. There we go. Grenade spam for the win. Damn, we're barely holding on in this one. I really want to use helicopters too, but I found that they're not as effective. But let's call one out. This one does have, uh, are they called Maliuka uh, ATGMs, I think? Uh, oh, Flata are these ones. So 148 millimeter ATGM. So let's see how an ATGM does against a tank. And uh, hopefully it hits it and does some damage. Come on in. 
No, don't hit that. Let's hit the tank first. Alright, let's fire another rocket. Let's try that again. Beautiful! Okay, we can start picking off those tanks then. So if the enemy invests heavily in tanks... It's so cool because there's so many vehicles you can choose from and they're at a limited... fire. Oh, I had troops there? I didn't know because we were capturing the flag. They were they were capturing the flag again. Give me a grenade. Wow, there's so many down. wounded around. Sure as hell wasn't from me. Americans are doing their fair share of damage. Grenades up over it. Let's go. I need my control back to hit spacebar to have the soldiers change stance. I think it's in there. I just didn't see it when I programmed it. Maybe. Now, keep in mind, this is going to be Grenade Fest in multiplayer, too. People are going to be absolutely ferocious in this game. Friendlies and enemies. Yeah, we lost this one again? All right, now the Americans are just de delaying the inevitable. It's becoming annoying. Like I literally need to just put tanks and vehicles inside flags. We might actually end up losing this one. They were just more persistent. Was this a... Uh Okay. Let's have that vehicle park on top. All right. Keep moving. Another one down. There we go. Soviets are moving now. We need to capture two flags back. Don't know if we're going to be able to do it. What the hell? M20 destroyed that, okay. I've not been able to shoot down a helicopter yet, so I'm not even sure how to really take them down. I fired at them forever with 50 cals, and nothing happened. Oh, the Americans are so instac and one and done with a lot of their stuff. I would think that the Soviets would be a much better faction to play uh, for the AI because it's more spammy and the AI is really stupid. There's a lot of things that they'll do that's both genius and dumb at the same time. Of course, friendly AI is always your enemy. I just want to overwhelm these guys. we got plenty of points. We just need to attack. Well done. Right, let's bring a force over here. Come on, boys. How come none of our men can ever return fire? They get shot at, stay in cover, and then they die. Shoot back. There we go. Essentially, now we're just trying to set up roadblocks and just hold positions. Enemies being very persistent with their counterattacks. And uh, did that helicopter just... I don't think it got destroyed by the Sherman, but did it try to land close to a building and then died because it touched an object? Is that what happened? That's good testing. Anything that goes wrong here that we might not like or that doesn't seem right, we can always comment down below in the comment section too for the developer to fix or to work on. Again, remember this is early access that I'm playing this. I'm playing about two weeks ahead of launch. So as you're seeing this, a lot of these problems may have been uh, fixed up. Good explosions, nice. I think it'd be easiest to destroy helicopters with a grad or something like that. Where did that uh, T-10, where'd the big boy go? Well, let's roll in there and capture this position. The enemy, I think, is going to win here because of their persistence in capturing flags. Each time I... <laughs> Look at that, there's like four vehicles just trying to push into this one. Every time they try to, uh, I try to secure a position, they take it back. Shoot them. There we go. We just got to keep funneling reinforcements in, but the enemy just doesn't want it to happen. 
Good on them, though. Normal AI uh, had a bad time the other time. Are these friendlies here? Okay. Can't even tell sometimes. Now we should have our fourth flag locked down. It's very good, though. The AI is attacking how you should, where if the enemy is reinforcing a position, you move to the next one, so that way they can't reinforce uh, more than one position at a time. Nice! Tank putting a round right through a helicopter. Is that really the only way to take out aircraft? T-55 putting a shell right through there. Let's try this helicopter now. Oh, well, this will be satisfying. Who cares about victory? Let's get some explosions. Michael Bay, this is for you. I love you, Bay. All right, Chinook deflecting a tank shell to the uh, driver's side window, I guess. Actually, Raptor, that's the co-pilot. You should know that if you play games. True, fair. Let's try again. There we go. That one went right through the windshield. Perfect. Are you kidding me? Look at the amount of troops I have here. NATO is still trying to capture this position. Damn, NATO's a little pesky bunch, aren't they? We even have a tank here. We've got a tank, and another tank, and a bunch of troops, and somehow they're still not liquidated. That is incredible. Maybe we'll turn it around now. I don't know. If we lose one more flag for one more second, it's pretty much over, so let's get reinforcements to where they need to go. We have a group here. Let's send these guys left. Also, as for healing troops, since it's a lot more complicated, each one of those troops that are wounded, if I click on them, it's a, it, it's a very intense babysitting simulator. For these wounded troops here, it takes a while to heal each one of them up, and under fire and stuff, it's almost impossible. So really, healing a soldier should be a priority if you're not under fire or if you uh, only have, like, one or two wounded. But in a situation with multiple casualties, uh, that's a no-go. All right, let's keep bringing up some... Infantry. I'm going to bring these guys right. Looks like we got some real serious problems here on the front. We're bringing in reinforcements as much as we can. Cool to hear some jet sounds and stuff, though, in this game. I'll bring the uh, BMP over here now. I mean, the. Uh, what is that thing again? The BM20. Yeah, BM21 Grad. Very nice. We might win now, but it's going to take forever, so maybe I'll just like end up losing just to finish things up so we can see a little bit more of the dynamic campaign. I have yet to see a little bit of that. Nice shot there from what looked to be a BMP. No, the T-55. Good ranges in this game, too. Something I'm discovering is that the ranges have increased a little bit. They're not too insane, but they also have to keep in mind of uh, low-performance PCs in this game, too. Okay, we are winning at uh, 34 out of 100. Can I speed up time? No, I cannot. All right. Well, this is getting drawn out. I wonder if we can grab uh, explosives from these tanks. Ah, yes. Old SEM text. Or otherwise, uh, I guess C4 in this case, maybe. Composite C4. All right, let's try to take this American tank out. A little bit of composite C4. Although it's called composition C4. There you go. That's the technical term. Are you going to throw this thing, dude? I can't go into auto mode. There we go. Here, let's go Let's go talk to this tank, the Tank Whisperer. America, don't, don't you think you want to share everything equally? What do you think about communism? Oh, it couldn't handle it. It couldn't handle it. <laughs> Boy, that worked. Note to self, we can destroy vehicles that way. So let's try that again. That's kind of fun. One of my favorite things to do in Metal War. Oh, okay. That was a nice hit. So much for that. We'll come back and try that again. Good idea always to uh, salvage explosives or uh, sab sabotaging charges or whatever you want to call them from friendly vehicles and wait for the enemy. Let's get some repairs going now. Seems like the enemy actually has slowed down. We were at uh, 97. They're at 97 points out of our 41. So now we just got to basically win. So here comes their troops. We just have more stuff on the field than they do. BM oh, it's cool. The BM actually drops... Uh oh, it doesn't. I thought it would drop supports. What is that thing on the side? Oh, the targeting module? Okay. Hmm... Let's see. Soviet engineers. I've tried to play with the engineers before. They should be able to make some stuff. But it doesn't look like they're actually able to do that at this point in the game. 
Could be updated soon though to do more. Oh, damn broken air, bra broken sickle over there. Right, let's get men back into the. Uh, seems like every time I put men in cover, that's when they're most likely to die. Oh, there's a wounded here. Finally, here we go. Let's get some people in the comment section to relax a little bit. There you go. Don't worry. I was yelling at my screen. Painful to watch. You suck at this game, YouTube. Yeah, relax. Don't worry. We're doing CPR. So this is why I didn't do it because it takes a little bit to do, and then in order to string those together, it looks like they've reduced the time a little bit from what it was in Call to Arms, but it's not immediate. It's not like, you know, playing tag or something like that where it's an immediate switch. Are you kidding me? They almost took this back. We have quite a few soldiers there. Come on. All right, so this is all drawn out. Essentially, this is pretty much it, boys. So thank you, everybody, for watching here today. It's just going to be a long countdown until I win. Essentially, the enemy's just going to throw small attacks at us now. But that was pretty epic. So if you haven't already, make sure you go ahead and click or tap that like button to let me know you want to see more Men of War Assault Squad 2 Cold War. It doesn't look like there's going to be a campaign or anything, which is totally fine, because there could be a campaign made by the community. So if you're a member of the community who makes maps and stuff like that, look at all those juicy assets you have to play with. That's going to be nice. I'll see you guys in the dynamic campaign next. We'll do two episodes on the uh, American and the uh, Soviets. Although I think it's pretty much just the, uh, I think it's just pretty much this, but with a dynamic campaign of keeping track of wins. It's more for like a nice afternoon of spending time with a friend and being like, hey, best two out of, you know, two out of five. Or three out of five, sorry, wins or something like that. Or whatever, whatever the case may be. So, all right, everybody, thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Let me know what you think of the maps and uh, all that stuff. And if you'll be picking up in a war, so let's go ahead to Cold War. I'll see you next time for more. Let me know if you have questions down below. Bye-bye.